Hi, welcome to my YouTube channel Clickview Enthusiast. I am Abhishek, a Clickview learner and in this video I will share my learning about the grid chart. So as you can see I have uh, already created a grid chart here for you for a demo purpose so that I will first explain you about the chart and then I will show how to create it from scratch. So let's talk about uh, this grid chart. So these grid charts are often used to show the performance or the relationship among the similar data points. So for example, we have these sales reps whose sales related information is shown here and uh, the values are plotted over a period of time. So on the Y axis, you can see the year information is presented and on the X axis, the different quarters, the, all the four quarters information is presented. So these are the similar data points showing the performance over a period of time. In this way, uh, you can assess the business performance of many data points like this, but they are if they are similar in nature, you can plot the grid chart and assess the business performance. So as you can see, uh, if you will see it closely, some of the pie chart are small and slowly they are increasing in the size. So for example, this pie chart, which is a quarter three chart of 2011 is bigger than this quarter two and quarter one chart. So you can, you know, figure out the inferences, what has happened in this chart, why the sales has increased. And then in quarter four, it again decreased, which is similar to the quarter two and quarter one. Again, uh, if you are doing a year over year analysis, then you have 2011, 2012, 2013 data, which clearly shows sales has increased from 2011 to 2012 because the size of the pie chart is increased and 2013 of quarter one, it has further increased by uh, the size. As you can see, the size has bit increased than 2012. And other thing is, uh, other thing to notice is this pie chart is very small, which shows that there is unusually something wrong with the data points. Maybe the data points are not up to the mark. Probably in quarter two, it is just showing the one month information. That's why the chart is small, but you can anytime go back and do your analysis uh, by look further looking into the data. All right. So before any further talking, let's see how we can create the chart. So before creating it, let's first remove this by right click on it and uh, click on remove. So here I have shown the data points, the detailed data points from which we have, we will going to create a grid chart. So it shows the year information, the quarter, the sales wraps and their respective sales. All right. So for creating a new chart, we will follow the same process as I have explained in uh, most of my previous videos. You'll right click on the blank screen, go to new sheet object and click on the chart. Now this option shows the grid chart. So we'll click on this grid chart option, click on the next. We will select our dimensions. So our dimension will be the quarter sales rep and year because sales rep is our higher level information year is our y-axis and quarter is our x-axis so we'll select sales rep the year and the quarter but we will take the sales rep as a base information because this is very high level so we will keep it down here the quarter will come up because it is x-axis so We'll click on promote. Now this quarter will show on X axis. The year information will show on the Y axis and sales rep is a high level information which will be presented as a legend and in the by chart as a different slices. So let's click on next to insert the expre expressions. So extra expression will be this very simple one where it will show the sum of sales. So let's click on the sum and the brackets, we will just enter a simple one, which is sales, click save, click okay. And let's give it a name called 
upgrade chart. All right, let's finish. Okay, so as you can see, uh, the information is not coming properly. Um, this uh, big green color of a pie, green color of a circle is covering other circle. So we need to select the right chart for this. And for that, we right click on the chart, go to properties. And um, let's click on the style. And in the style, we click on this option to show the pie chart on a grid. So, all right, uh, let's click OK and see what it is coming. All right, so a little bit better. Let me just change the size so you can clearly see it and uh, change the position to move it along with this um, table box. All right, um, so again, you know, as you can see, the information is clearly visible and you can figure it out how it is increasing and decreasing over a period of time. So if you will put your mouse over any of the slides, it will show the uh, uh, for which quarter and year you are showing the information but the information which is missing is the uh, sales number which is which will be probably most interesting one because you want to see how the information is here in the quarter three and in quarter two and in the quarter one all right so which is simple not a problem we will right click on the chart go to properties and in expression uh, as we can see uh, either you have the value on data points uh, which will clearly show um, or you can show it as a pop-up so you will click on text as pop-up apply and okay all right so as you now you will see this information is coming but it is not properly formatted all right let's go back again into the chart properties and change the number formatting by making it integer click OK right click on the chart oh, I'm sorry so we will again put our mouse over any of the chart slice and now it is coming properly which is currently now 459,689 all right so this is how uh, you can create the pie chart and uh, whenever you have uh, similar kind of data points you can utilize this grid chart and impress your management so this is pretty much all I wanted to discuss uh, for the grid chart. I hope you will find this video useful and I will meet you in the next video with a new chart. Till then, bye-bye.